You ready to go home? Venus was one of the smallest premature kittens that I've ever rescued. I know, I have like three more minutes of work left. She was so tiny that I actually had to take her to work with me so that I could feed her throughout the day. She was actually smaller than my computer mouse at work. Hello, welcome to the world. It was very touch and go for the first couple of days with her being so small. She was very fragile and pretty sick. Look at that booty. What are you doing? It took us nine weeks to get to a pound. We had these little stuffed toys with heartbeats in them just to try and help soothe her. Yeah? Yeah? Is it home time? I never imagined being 29 and having a stroke, but in October of 2020, that is exactly what happened. I had a full house of fosters at the time and all fostering and rescue got put on hold. Come on. Having to relearn how to walk definitely changes your perception of everything. It took six months from my stroke through recovery until I was able oh. to foster kittens again. Yeah. Well, I'm so used to taking care of the kittens. It really was a culture shock to suddenly be the one that needed to get care taken and really learn to rely on other people to help me. Fostering Venus really gave me a sense of normality back again. She was definitely needing me, honestly, as much as I needed her at that point. Hi. Are you so sweepy? It was definitely very fulfilling to see her coming out of her shell and gaining weight. Hi. Is that going to teach you to not climb up things? After 114 beautiful days with Venus, she was finally big enough and healthy enough to get adopted out to this amazing couple. She has grown into such a beautiful cat who is just so, so loved. She gets all the snuggles. She definitely still talks back. You can't have my hair ties. And it's just been a true pleasure to see her grow up. It's not ready to go, ma'am. Can we have a little patience? <laughs>